Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be a collective reading. Let's see what the messages are for the collective. I hope everybody's having a good morning, good, and I hope you have a good day. Let's get in the collective reading for you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all that. Okay. So I'm getting a couple downloads. I feel like somebody here um, wants you to point something out or they just want to torment or torture or fuck with you. You're like, okay, same thing, different day. And this is you, okay? Who cares? Don't allow low bottom feeding motherfuckers that are jealous to bother you. That are jealous and miserable. All right, let's see. We have love, okay? Adore, admire, enchantment. Yeah, you are love. Somebody loves you or you are loved. We have, um, let me see, because they want you to. Pull from the psychic tail deck, as well as that other one. Let me get one from here, since they're telling me to. One second. That one too, sorry. I just wanna put it over here just in case, okay? But I feel like with love, I adore my and enchantment, somebody adores you, yeah, insatiable and pounding her. I feel like you quench somebody's thirst, okay? Unquenchable wanting more, yeah, somebody's thirsty for your ass. Literally, somebody's thirsty, thirsty as fuck. But if it's not that, it's just that somebody that's attracted. I feel like you feel the same way. You have a wet pussy and they have a hard penis. Two, two, two. And just keep it real. Okay, yeah, love. And it says soulmate, similar friendship and romantic. This could be somebody you're on an escapade or with or you're on an adventure or you meet while you're uh, you're traveling. Yeah, confirmation or something like that. Focus, eyes for you, fascinated and watching. I just feel like somebody is watching you and stalking you and they have, they're obsessed with you. They have an insatiable desire to be with you. Yeah, this, so this could be on your social media that somebody's watching you, social media, fake profile and hiding. I feel like somebody's in the woods or the bushes or some shit watching and stalking your ass. Okay. But if it's not in the woods or the bushes, it could just be online. Okay. But for a lot of you, it could be that. Somebody could be driving past your house. Somebody could be hiding out with some common shit. I don't know what the fuck motherfuckers we have going on. Maybe y'all could tell me. Okay. Yeah, history. This is somebody you have history with. Okay. Somebody from your past. This is the person. Somebody you definitely have been familiar with. Yeah, telepathic dreams and songs. You may even have a telepathic connection with this person. Somebody could be telepathically communicating with you that they're crushed, they're sad, they're missing you, they want to talk and get on the same page. You're recalling and unconditional, reminiscing memories, returning unconditional, genuine and certain love. I feel like somebody knows that they love you, is genuine, is certain, is forever. I feel like someone's missing you. They could be telepathically trying to communicate this, like I said. Okay, well, this is you. You're trying to telepathically communicate this. All right. I don't know if I should put this light like that. It seemed a little dark. I don't know. You guys tell me. All right. Yeah, we have nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas, um, pressure, rage, ready to explode, and done. Completion lesson learned. So I feel like somebody's upset because something's over. They're enraged. Yeah, irreconcilable differences, divorce final. Somebody has ended a divorce, a divorce is final. Somebody's upset or someone's asking for one. Or they're going through one. Yeah, come together. Reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. I do feel like somebody wants to return to somebody here. Or this is you. Yeah, we have threatened appearance and embarrassed. And embarrassed. Somebody's embarrassed or they feel away. Okay, what's the love and soulmate? Twin flame. Damn. So not only is this person a friend with friendship and similar partners, but they're also a lover as well. So I'm getting two of cups lovers type energy. 
which is like twin flame. This is like a very compatible connection. Something is beautiful. The one mirror soul and pledge. Okay. This could be somebody that you're meeting. Or somebody, but I feel like with past here, history, somebody you have history with, ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. What's the twin flame? We have crickets, okay? Silence, non-action, but there's no communication here between twin flames. There's none. Okay? Yeah, lost. Ghosted, block, cut off. Somebody got blocked, cut off, ghosted, or it's just over. Yeah, offer on the table, and yeah. What's the silence non-action with twin flame? It says today, yeah, present now and in the moment. So today you could be, there could be no silence or there could be no communication or today what? What is today? Um, crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. So today this person could be feeling sad, your twin flame, or this is you because there's no communication, because there's no, you know, somebody could really be feeling it today, all right? Yeah. All right. Somebody could really be feeling it today. Yeah. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Reminiscing, memories, returning, and unconditional, genuine, and certain love. Somebody definitely genuine and certain. They love you. They want to return to you. They think about the memories. They look at your pictures. They get nostalgic with time you spent. Somebody would like to talk and get on the same page, have a conversation with you. They're missing you literally today. The silence. I feel like they just wish that they could talk or it just could be like on some like smooth type shit. All right. Or this is you. But I do feel like this is what this person is feeling. Crushed, sad, and like they want to talk and get on the same page. A lot of reminiscing. This could be something to do with the water or being by the water. But somebody here, you know, they're feeling it. Let's see what comes out from this one. Someone's missing you. This is someone that watches your your um social media. So you could have went on a, a escapade or some kind of getaway adventure with this person. For others of you, okay. If not, this could just be something that somebody wants to do. But I feel like somebody's enraged or very much upset that there was a divorce or an ending here. I feel like somebody's missing you. Yeah, what's the completion pressure cooker rage divorce final? Yeah, sold. I feel like a house is being sold here. Moving physical locations. Somebody's moving out. Yeah, there's a lot of gossip around this, even though it's over. Petty, jealous, and envious. People are petty. Yeah, retaliation. Punish, payback, and revenge. Lockdown. Mental prison confined. Somebody wants to lock somebody down. Yeah, and confine them. We have happiness, wholeness, overjoyed, and smiling with signs. 11-11, 222, and 333. I just feel like somebody's enraged or mad because somebody's happy. They know where their happiness is. They know where they're going. They know who they want to be with. Our angel Michael came out as well. Protection, prevented from harm, and divine intervention. All right. Yeah, grip, anchors, chain, and weigh down. That's all somebody want to do is anchor and weigh somebody down and keep them from their happiness. With happiness and synchronicity, somebody's getting signs. Yeah, telepathic communication, insatiable, and bounty hunter with divine masculine. So it could be this divine masculine that with commitment wants a commitment with someone. But I feel like with karmic and cleansing and clearing, um, removing um, negative energy or removing negativity, clearing space. I feel like somebody's removing this karmic. Somebody they're married to with commitment could be a marriage or a long term, whatever. Somebody is actually wanting to be elsewhere or they or they are like wanting this other person, this divine masculine. Like, I feel like somebody's trying to trap this divine masculine. Yeah, receipts, proof, show me, and trigger. <laughs> With child in reverse, children in reverse. So I've been getting it out. Somebody is trying to, yeah, cut. Yeah, this has been coming out exactly like this in the other readings. All right, someone's trying to keep um, someone's child away, away from them or someone is, I don't know, trying to make somebody feel a way about wanting to get the fuck away from them. So they're going to use the children or whatever they can. Yeah, lockbox, tra closed, trapped in and frustrated because somebody wants somebody to feel frustrated. Somebody is purposely not coming to some kind of settlement, settlement or agreement because they know that somebody wants to be with someone else somewhere else, it's just period. Divine masculine, yeah, grip and lockdown came out. Somebody wants to keep someone from going towards another person, saying anything to them or having anything to do with them at all. Let me put this in here. I feel like somebody wants to silence you. What's divine masculine? 
Yeah, we have uh, forbidden love and about to reveal and confess because somebody's about to reveal and confess their love for something that's supposed to be forbidden. I don't know why. Um, not facing truth, irrational reasoning, wish. As somebody is like, yeah, karmic. What is this karmic doing? I don't know why I feel like my nose running and it's not. What is this karmic doing? Okay, ascension, a spiritual path and awakening and single. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors and loss. What is this karmic with ascension? Yeah, divine feminine. And talk, conversation, and reminiscing and unconditional love. So I feel like this karmic is awakening to the fact that somebody has unconditional love for the divine feminine. This divine masculine, there they are, there you are. Yeah, it's toxic and unhealthy and poisonous situations going on. I feel like there's a hate between two people. And a marriage and a connection and everything. It's too much hate. Somebody's going to hold the child. They're going to put somebody. I'm surprised the government alimony card didn't come out. But somebody's going to do whatever they can to win. Somebody knows they have somebody, they, their foot on somebody's neck. They know that somebody's scared of appearances. They know that somebody's scared of losing or looking a certain way or, or looking like, I, I don't know. It only makes you a loser when you stay in situations that no longer serve you. That's what makes you a loser. Not getting away from shit that don't serve you. Okay. What's the messages? Because I feel like somebody's trying to make somebody feel away. Alright? Just period. It's all up to you. Can't nobody make you feel away about shit. You want out of a situation you done because somebody anchoring you purposely. Like, like really, really, really is like on some control type shit. Then so what? Bye. We have um, mystery, unknown, enigma, illusion, and confusing, and date, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. So you're being mysterious about who you're dating. Okay, yeah, you're single, intuition, and legal matters. What's mystery and date? Divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. Okay. Divine intervention. So I feel like there's going to be somebody's being mysterious. Oh my God, okay. I can reach it. Somebody's being mysterious here. Spiritual awakening again. There it is twice. Okay, lightning, epiphany, life lesson, and rebirth. I feel like divine intervention is coming in here. There's some kind of spir spiritual awakening. Yeah, divine timing, and it's time now. Okay, toxic relationship and heartbreak. This could be about a toxic relationship that somebody is like wanting to be over here. And reconciliation, we'll see what comes out. What is this? We have regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, and hook up and snake. Maybe somebody regrets being a snake or having a one night stand, treating you like a one night stand, doing whatever this is. Somebody could just be feeling some kind of way. Okay, because we have twin flame and we have divine masculine, and divine feminine here. What's the regret? Yeah, player. Somebody regrets playing games, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested, playing weird ass games. Doing weird ass shit. Um, just, you know, being weird. Yeah, signs and synchronicities again. It came out in this deck as well. I don't know where that card went. Yeah, here it is. Synchronicities and here it is again. Synchronicity. Somebody's having synchronicities. Whether it's in numbers, 1111, 222, 333. Because we have 222 here and 222 on this one. So you could be seeing that number. But it's coincidence, signal, hit messages from the universe. Somebody's getting it. Maybe seeing your car, seeing you places. Someone's getting signs that they're supposed to be with you or meet up with you. Or they want to meet up with you. Or um, maybe they did. You ran into them or something like that. And that could have been a sign. Run into this person. It could have been in the past with the past card here or whatever. Okay. Um, what's this? Yeah, what signs and synchronicities? Yeah, social media. Somebody definitely on your social media heavy. This is definitely somebody you watch on. So yeah, soulmate and hookup, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. So I feel like somebody treated their twin flame literally like a like a like a one night stand, like like an ordinary hoe or nigga. And they're absolutely one hundred percent not that. They were actually your gift, your life partner, your rider, your best friend with love, similar friendship. Um, and romantic partner as well as twin flame, one, the mirror soul. So not only do you have love with this person, like I said, you have a friendship, a deep connection with this person too. 
adore admiring enchantments the first card out was love the strongest energy somebody's in love with you they adore you they're enchanted with you they admire you i feel like you're you mean a lot to somebody you're at home and comfort comfort safety belonging and shelter somebody could be watching you from their home or um that you feel like home to this person your yeah, ex-lover and magnetic attraction I'm not sure what happened, but why it, yes, yeah, storm warning. Oh, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. So there's some kind of upheaval here around the home situation or in a home. Maybe the home that somebody's selling here with sold right here. Physical location and shit, yeah, anxiety. Stress, depression, panic attacks, and re restless about, what is this? Yeah, grass is greater, jealousy, better option, unhappy, and deserve better, and magnetic attraction, alluring, less irresistible, and flirty. So this is about thinking the grass is greener. Maybe, you know, with an ex-lover, somebody was wearing a mask about, they kept returning to or holding on to, but I feel like it's over. And that's where somebody fucked up. Somebody held on to something that was, that was already doomed long before they met you. And then when you confirmation, and then when you came in and you were supposed you were the light, their angel, the one to make them happy, what they manifested, whether consciously or subconsciously, they ruined that. And they did everything in their power to, to, to be grimy, to be hateful, to be this, that, or the other, because that's what somebody was used to being done to them. Misery loves company, but I feel like with forgiveness coming out lately so much, I do feel like you forgive this person in this situation. You're like, it's cool. I understand because I feel like you're a whole healed, elevated person. You understand? You just don't want to deal with this type of shit because the drama, the hate, the, the whatever is for no fucking reason. Reconciliation. When you need a second chance back together, I miss you. So somebody could be wanting to reconcile. This could even be a friend. But I feel like it's a twin flame connection. But I feel like this could be a friend as well. Addictions, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. With heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. And that's what ended this. Now somebody's heartbroken because of their addictive ways and toxic attachments to third parties and exes with ex-lover and attachments that don't serve them, that anchor them and weigh them down. And this is you. We have secret question. Admire attraction, pseudo and butterflies and liquid courage, bravery. Yes, yeah, somebody drinks. They meet people. They like to fuck around. Somebody's just sloppy in their energy. Very fragmented. We have... Faded meeting, meant to be destiny, predetermined encounter, and unexpected surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual, and then twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, and past lives. So if somebody's realizing that you're, they love you, you, they have a deep connection to you that can never, you know, be broken here, just period. But I feel like with toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people here, with ghosted block cut off, I feel like somebody's cutting off these toxic motherfuckers. They're like, nah. I can't deal with this, or I don't want to deal with this, or I don't want to deal with you. Just period. Give me a couple cards right here, and we'll get into the regular tarot. Oh, thank God I caught these motherfuckers. Okay. Yeah, all these, um, yeah, bitterness. Look at that flipping out. Resentment, anger, hurtful words. Somebody's anger, angry, or they're mad. Yeah, intimacy, bonding, sensual, and confining because somebody doesn't want to bond with them. They don't want to, they don't want to confide in them. They don't want to fuck with them. So somebody's mad. So like somebody's setting boundaries or they're like, no, I don't, I don't want to fuck with you. Just period. Yeah, longing, uh, divine masculine, loyalty, apology. Yeah, I feel like this, this divine masculine is longing for a person. Very, very drawn to you. Very beautiful. What's the bitterness? But I feel like somebody's mad. That's the thing. Motherfuckers need to stop being mad. You know, over that shit. Let, learn how to let shit go. If it's over, it's over. Learn how to let it go. What's the bitterness? Begins try again, new direction to start over. So somebody wants to start over and try again, but they're mad and they're resentful and they're angry. Or this is what somebody wants you to be. You're like, no, just stay over there, please. What's the bitterness? With forgiveness that comes out several times in the reading, some a, a person that is bitter is not forgiving. They're not, they're not somebody, I just feel like somebody's at peace. Somebody else is bitter because they're going through a divorce or a breakup or upheaval, or they make bad choices in people, places, and things or whatever, and they continuously do it. We have emotional storm, turmoil, unstable, and affected with open heart, receptive, empathy, and vulnerable. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's unstable, they're affected, they have turmoil, their resentment, their anger, but you have an open heart with re receptive, empathy, and vulnerable. You have this type of heart, but you're dealing with this type of person. 
it's like not gonna work. It's, it's somebody, yeah, what is the open heart? Somebody is like too angry. Yeah, nurture, self-growth, self-focus, and soul finding. Yeah, in depth, awareness, importance, and value. Like you understand your value, you work on yourself, your self-growth, your self-focus, and your soul finding. You search for your soul, yeah, you're healed, healing. Okay, releasing, purifying, and, and cleansing. It's like somebody wants you to be mad because they are. You have obsession, infatuation, adoration, and addiction because someone's obsessed with you or someone's obsessed with you being in turmoil or upset or angry or bitter. You're not going to, yeah, return. Second chance, opportunity, make amends. It's like, bitch, don't come over here with your angry shit and your losses and your pain and hurt. Yeah, pain, as soon as I said that. Apprehensive, afraid, and cautious. Don't come over here with your pain and your bitterness and you've been hurt and betrayed and stabbed in the back by motherfuckers that you knew wasn't right and you didn't want to get rid of and now shit hitting the fan. Don't come over here with a, to a whole person, a healed person that's only going to pour their love into you to come over here and try to drink. It's just not going to go like that. And that's what Divine Archangel Michael going to come in and sever that shit and there's going to be karma here as well. Yeah, exhausted, depletion drain a long journey somebody's bitter they've been on a long journey they feel beat up better than bruised they're in turmoil they're affected and what was the other one and um unstable as well yeah and bitter but th this is like two totally different contrasts somebody else is healed and they're whole and they're over here and somebody else is in pain it's like don't come over here with that yeah, turmoil again, trouble and unexpected. There's some kind of turmoil, upheaval, unexpected shit going on here that somebody's bitter, angry, and mad about. They could be cussing you out. They're resentful. Somebody feels away. Maybe they're blaming you for something or whatever. What is this? They don't have shit to do with you at all. Yeah, curse. Look, with hex, witchcraft, and negative minds. So someone's going to curse you or do witchcraft on you. Confessions, unveiling, confining, com um, coming clean, and messages. Someone's trying to um, curse you here. Because something is unveiling or somebody knows the truth or whatever this is. What is this hex, witchcraft, and curse? You have family. What is this curse? You have boundaries, no, drawing the line and enough. I just feel like it's going to backfire. Whatever somebody's doing, they're going to curse themselves. What's the curse in the backfire? Because this is like the seven of wands, the no. I feel like it's because you said no, yeah, finale. Uh, finality. Farewell, leave behind, and closure. It's over. That's why somebody wants to curse someone. Someone's bitter because they want a divorce. They, they It says um, divorce final. Somebody has um, irreconcilable differences. Divorce is final. Somebody has sold the house or moving out or they're not doing this anymore or they, they're over it. So somebody wants to curse somebody because they're done. But I feel like it's going to backfire or go back on their ass. And that's why they're mad. Really. What's the return card over here? I saw the second chance. Somebody really wants... Um, a second chance with you. Okay, yeah. Hopeless, stinking, despair, falling apart, and stress. Somebody is stressed here. Turbulence, tension, and arguments. <sighs> Hollow, empty, and bored. Somebody's just bored in a, in a situation, man. What is this? Open heart and nurture and healing and return. Somebody is just like... Chasing, pursuit, toxicity, and resilience. I don't know. Divine masculine. Okay. Yang, masculine energy, and apologize. Yeah, we got loyalty and apologize. Trusting, reliability, believing, forgiveness, return. I'm sorry. And um, we have beauty. Yeah, and intuition. Charming, graceful, kind-hearted. Okay. Sorry, lost grief and depression. And past. Something happened in the past here. Somebody was being mysterious, wearing a mask, bluffing about sex or whatever. I feel like somebody regrets doing something that they did here or handling a situation with regret and player like they did or, or like treating you a certain, a certain way because somebody definitely wants a second chance to come back in after all this upheaval and hate and drama is going on over here. Okay. Let's see what's coming out on the regular tarot. A lot of hate. A lot of bullshit going on, but a lot of reconciliation. Somebody really wanting to heal and make a situation um, better here, but I don't know. It's too much drama. Like you, like sometimes people don't be wanting to be a part of that shit. I feel like somebody trying to curse you. Somebody's mad. They're, they'll do anything to curse you or make you better. Somebody's trying to curse you with anger. They're like, no, I'd rather not be that. Yeah, the Ace of Wands was in the reverse. Let's see. What's the messages? I feel like you'd rather not do that and you're not going to. What's the messages? 
What's this? Yeah, the three of wands. And the page of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the four of wands. All right. So I feel like um, yeah, communication. There could be some kind of communication here or offer that is being made. Some kind of apology or something that you were expecting. All right, Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be giving you something here. Something I'm getting like a promise ring or something just to show proof that they care, they're apologetic, or so some, some kind of peace offering. Someone's seducing you. It could be wine as well as something tangible here. Okay, it could actually be a proposal is what I'm getting, but I'm also getting somebody's expecting you to reach out or they're waiting for someone to reach out. I see somebody showing up at your home and they have something in hand, okay, that they want to give you. What's the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands? All these cards that I'm not taking. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're spending time with somebody. I feel like you get stuck on somebody or you get infatuated or you you just naturally, yeah, the Empress. You just fall in love with somebody. You like spending time. Okay. I see you riding with this person, being with this person. This is somebody you can kick it with pretty much all day and just kind of be around. Yeah, the Empress and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's beautiful, they're graceful, they're refined. I just feel like you see somebody as um, beautiful. Some of you could be getting your hair, nails, or feet done, but I just feel like somebody is like beautiful here, just a beautiful person. So I see you spending time drinking wine, someone's gifting you something, showing up. I feel like somebody spends like seven hours at your home or all day. You just love this person, you think they're beautiful, you love to look at them, you spend time, someone is like, you know, let's spend time together. Someone gets fixated on you, okay? They really do, yeah. We have the devil showing up in the reverse. Wow, that's an omen, all right? So I feel like it could be a Capricorn. We have Libra here, but I feel like somebody could be, um, there could be some kind of chains being broken or or there's no there's no attachment. Something is not codependent. It's not, it's not um, like toxic because the devil is toxic. It's just, it's peaceful. It's a beautiful energy, but I do feel like someone's bringing you. They have something in hand. I feel like it's two things. One could be a bottle or wine or something you like to drink, maybe flowers and something, and then something tangible like a gift you have in hand. This could be like a ring, like a piece of jewelry, a crystal or something. But I just feel like, yeah, the devil in the reverse. Yeah, the empress. What's the devil in the reverse? The knight of wands. Yeah. So somebody could be formed and fun and exciting or somebody could have a tendency here, yeah, to, yeah, five of swords, five of cups. I don't know. I feel like somebody's playing. What's the knight of wands? Yeah, the will of fortune and the four of swords. Yeah, the king of wands. So I feel like somebody has grown up here. Somebody that may have been at um, addictions or somebody has let go or healed. Somebody that's promiscuous. Could be a, somebody that's African, a Leo, or a Capricorn. Very exciting, wealth, travel. Very, like somebody has definitely grown up. Like on the Knight of Wands, he's on a horse. You don't know where he got that horse from. You don't even know if it's his. He's just coming and going. Like that's the Knight of Wands is a player of the Zodiac. But I feel like the King of Wands is very loyal. Their sexual energy isn't just, you know, sporadic or they're very, very controlled with their sexual energy. Somebody loyal, somebody, it's a king, not a knight. Okay, so we're going from the knight of cups to the knight of wands to the king of wands. Somebody's very seductive, very exciting, very beautiful. Somebody could be foreign, very attractive, very beautiful here. Somebody has a lot of passion for you, but I feel like they're not coming with no attachments or no addictive shit with the devil card in the reverse. Somebody has grown up and they want to come correct, okay? Yeah, the king of wands. What is this? Yeah, the ace of swords. I'll give you some kind of clarity or truth about whatever this is. Yeah, the empress. I don't know. Somebody's just attracted to you, the empress. Somebody's beautiful. Somebody's like, yeah, let me get my shit together. So I see you spending time and you don't have to worry about this toxicity or this dumb shit. 
somebody's coming in. What's the Empress? Full thought of somebody could be pregnant here. I feel like somebody's like focused on you or it's obsessed with you. Yeah, the five of wands and the death. So I feel like literally somebody wants to kill off all the, the competition. Literally, it could be a Scorpio. They're like, yeah, you're gonna you're you're with me. And the nine of pentacles, ten of cups, and the king of cups, the star, and the lovers. Wow. Somebody finds you very attractive. They're very much in love with you. You make them very happy. I feel like this is somebody that you could be having a picnic with or kicking it, kicking it with or they're cooking for you or you have a star. Somebody could be in the public eye, Aquarius and Gemini. Okay. We have Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra energy. Okay. I just feel like somebody wants to dead the competition. Somebody wants to be with you. Maybe if you do have a lot of kids, they're like, no. I'm going to dead that offer. If somebody was competitive or competing with you, I feel like somebody's changed. They want to change or somebody has really grown up or taken a lot of time to think about their addictions or their toxic ways and what they need to drop and let go off or let go of or chains they need to break or whatever. So someone's at your door, they're apologizing or you're at their home or they're at yours or someone's like, yeah, come over, kick it with me. I do see somebody in their car coming towards you or you're going towards them. Okay. Yeah, somebody has changed it. Yeah, somebody wants to put in the work. I'm also getting, if there was some kind of competition or something around your work, that could change. Or you could be changing departments or doing something else here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to put in the work now. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. What's the um, um, Empress here? I'm also getting like jealousy. Okay. Nine of Swords and the Fool. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody's worried that you're over something. That you're not going to compete. I feel like someone's trying to compete with you or something, but you have your head down. You're working. You're you're not focused on whatever this this bullshit is. Really, I feel like somebody wants your attention. They want you to acknowledge them. They want you to whatever because you're the empress. You're like, man, no, I'm good. The nine of swords and the fool. I just feel like somebody's worried that you're over something or you're detached or you don't care. I feel like you're, you don't. You're cool either way. But if somebody wants to come in changed or grown, because they've obviously grown up here and have let go of some attachments with the devil in reverse, then I feel like you're all for it. I feel like the Empress is a very forgiving card. It's like, okay, cool, whatever. But I feel like somebody has changed and they want to put in the work, but someone's afraid that you've detached or, yeah, the, the fool and the nine of cups, that you're satisfied, you're pleased, you're on your own, you're happy, you're like, no, I'm, I'm good. I don't want, if you're coming in, you have a star. If you're coming in um, genuine, then perfect. If not, then no. But I feel like you're a star. You're somebody's wish. Your wishes could be coming true here as well. You could have been nervous or worried about something, but I feel like you're going to be freed from that anxiety. You're going to, whatever you wish for, this wish list, everything's going to be checked off or you're going to get what you want here or something. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. I'm getting somebody in the public eye a star. We have heavy Aquarius right here, but it could be any sign. Okay. Could be a Libra with the Empress, could be a Scorpio, could be a Capricorn. Or a Virgo type. Okay, yeah. Because I feel like clarifying the Empress is a fool, the nine of cups, and the star. So I'm getting you're beautiful. You're over it, you're free, you're 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 um single, you're self-sufficient, you're just not gonna deal with like bullshit. But I don't feel like this person is coming towards you with it, honestly. There could actually be an offer from somebody else as well. Or somebody's expect waiting to reach out or offer you something. You're like, yeah. The Empress goes with nothing but kings, not no pages, nothing like that. Or the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, at least. Um, somebody's not with this. What's the Star, the Nine of Pentacles, and all of this shit over here? Yeah, the Lovers. I just feel like somebody's in love with you. They're in love with your body. Somebody loves your naked body as well. Very much something about a naked body. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Or somebody likes what you have on. Okay, or, or something, okay. Somebody also, you know, they have a beautiful smile or somebody's very fun or whatever. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. I'm getting something about music. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Somebody's wondering where you got this money from. Yeah, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. I feel like somebody tried to lie or set you up or cause a tower. I'm also getting, I don't know. 
Yeah, I, f I feel like somebody's disappointed. Somebody's withholding or doing something grimy, and because you're indifferent or you don't care or you're not going to feed into the dumb shit, they feel like a loser. Somebody feels small and like a fucking loser because they're a bully, they're a bitch made, they're, they're, they attack you, you don't do anything, you're innocent, you're the empress. Somebody, somebody's going to have to carry this shit on them, and someone's going to get a lot of bad karma for, for whatever they did. Somebody's a loser, and you make them feel like that because the things you say are true. And, and they know they're a fucking loser. They know they're a clown. They know they're a weirdo. I just feel like you're going to be okay here with the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Something is a yes or you're getting something or something's going to work out for you. Whatever this toxicity or bullshit is, that shit is going to be over with here. Okay? So we're going to um, get a couple from here. Anything from here? There's an unconditional love and a wanting to get on the same page type energy. Okay, I'm really tired of even reading on this because because don't don't know actions be taken. It's just motherfuckers sitting up watching and stalking and looking and not moving and not standing in emperor empress mode and and like that shit get old. Like stand on business be or or just go. We have enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? Unrequited love. Yeah, there's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if you go on a trip with somebody or you're going away or you're trying, it's just not enough attraction to keep something going. There's not enough chemistry. There's not enough anything here. Yeah, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, and we have attraction here though. Wow. And chemistry is here. And then here it says it's not enough attraction to chemistry. So I don't know if this is somebody somebody's leaving behind. They're freeing themselves from. Yeah, somebody's moving on. It's, the honeymoon card is like the six of swords. It's not enough uh, uh, attraction. Somebody's just not happy. Okay, it, no chemistry. What's the attraction right here, though? Because we have the Empress card. That's the same card. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Your prayer of affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody wants to work on things or something. Yeah, finances and career financial issues are a factor in this relationship. So somebody's money could be fucked up here. New love and release your ex. Somebody's releasing their ex for a new love. I just feel like, you know, finances is a courtesy. It can always be changed. Choose to be with people that love you, whether you're up or down, and that wants to work to get it back up with you. And not somebody trying to beat you up, beat you down about it, burden you or whatever. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Worth waiting for a divine time. So somebody could be waiting because their finances isn't right. Or I don't know what this is. Yeah. Okay. We have trust in reverse. This this um, situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like you don't. In the wedding. Yeah. Somebody doesn't trust someone they're married to because someone's holding money, hiding money. They've been doing shit with money. The, the, the relate. Yeah. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romance. Yeah. A very codependent marriage or a very toxic relationship. With lies around money, the loss of money, lack of money, lack of stability, lack of whatever the fuck this is. What is attraction calling to your soulmate? I just feel like, yeah, new love. I feel like you're literally manifesting. It says manifesting a new love or somebody that is that, that, is open, not toxic, somebody that, yeah, this could be the one. And you, you're you you're manifesting it. You've already met the romance. Oh, you've already met them. Okay. So somebody could be calling or manifesting you or whatever. Okay. So um, there's that. I feel like this was um, pretty much the same energy that be coming out. Okay, same. Somebody wants to put it to work. Somebody is grown up. Someone's very passionate about you. Very, very attracted to you. They think you're beautiful. Everything about you, okay? I'm getting something about silk. Maybe you wear silk or something like that. I mean, the empress is here. She wears all of that, so possibly. But I feel like somebody's in love with you deeply with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups, the star. Somebody finds you very attractive, very beautiful, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups type energy. You're like everything to somebody. You're inspirational. You're sexy. Somebody loves your body. Somebody loves that you're free with your body. You're free. You're unencumbered. You're confident. You're strong. You're what somebody needs in their life. You're honest. You're loyal. You're ten toes. Okay. So there's an opportunity, a job offer, or some money that can be made here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Something is a yes or something successful. Okay. So those are your messages. I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one.